Hey, you guys, this is S.E.K. here with Crazy Quilting Crafts with S.E.K. And you guys, I wanted to share this um, beautiful blanket that I have made for a great niece. Um, and um, I played around with this. This is not a, a pattern, a, a board paid pattern. It's just something that I did freestyling it. And I really uh, enjoy making this. And I really enjoyed the way it came out. So um, this was actually a flannel fat quarter. It was a fat quarter bundle. And um, some of it was also yardage. Now, what I did was I learned the eight-point star. So, I enjoy doing eight-point stars with um, also layer cakes. And they actually come out to be nice big blocks, as you can see the center block there. And also, if you look closely, it also has a windmill effect uh, in this area, which I really loved. But, um, again, this top is not complete. As of yet, this is just the top, and um, I I used up all pretty much all the scraps. I wanted to get rid of all the scraps. So what I try, what I did on the outside was, I think I did layer cakes, and then split them five by fives, something like that from the fat quarter, something like that. Like I said, I was freestyling this, and um, so I chose to use um. A minky uh, backing for this. I'm not going to put any batting in it because it's going to be heavy enough with the minky. So um, I chose this cute little minky right here. It's nice and plush. And I'm going to be using that as the backing. And um, when I complete this project, I'm going to give you guys a full look at it. It's going to be super heavy. I'm going to have to be doing a lot of maneuvering um, with my sewing machine. And also, I had made a giant uh, pillowcase. And the center of it is the pillowcase that I did make, which is this right here. So, I did that as well. And that was a lot of fun. Like I said, you guys, usually when I learn a, a block or any type of project, whether it's quilting or crocheting, I will binge on that for weeks until I get tired of it. But I am realizing that I am a, bl a big block kind of gal. I love um big blocks. Not too sure how big this block is. I would say it may be about a 16 by 16. Um, And then again, it may be a 22 by 22. What I'll do is I will measure this center block so I can give you guys a rough idea of the size of that block. But I did this several times with different fabrics. And when I tell y'all, these blocks go together really, really qu uh, quick. And I really enjoy doing them. So again, I will bring you guys a finished product um, on my next video so you guys can see it. But um, this is um, my first time making my great niece a uh, a quilt that hopefully will bring her comfort for the next many, 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 many more years. And um, I want to say congratulations to my beautiful niece, one of them, um, Da. They also call me Auntie Da. And um, she's a great mom. And just want to say that I love her. And I can't wait to meet my new niece uh, in the near future. All right, you guys, so this is S.E.K. Um, just sharing, showing, telling uh, today, and I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video and hope to be inspired to get behind a sewing machine one day or someday soon. S.E.K., the crazy crafting quilter. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.